So you want something to believe in, Spoons? Believe in me. Believe in that there sign. For as long as it hangs there, we got hope. How's it going, Radical viewers? Grim Caddy right back into it with another Legends of the West video. And today we can thank the Salmon server for why we are still on the topic of Rango. Only this time, we're doing something weird. We're actually going to try to do a what if thing here. Example, what if Rattlesnake Jake was bipedal and had to wear clothes like normal animals in Rango? That statement sounds weird. That all said, I actually had a lot of fun trying to make this and think, uh, just what the devil I was going to do. Because my only basis of what to go off of, other than the fact that Rattlesnake Jake is, in fact, a rattlesnake, and his name is Jake, is that he wears a hat and a crap ton of pandaliers. But hey, you know what? If that's all I gotta go off of, then I'm gonna make something out of it. I'm actually kind of pleased with how this turned out. So let's go ahead and uh, break down this beauty of an outfit here. So of course with the hat. Now one thing I keep getting in the comments, well especially on that one, Rattlesnake Jake wearing the stalker hat. It's like, yeah, you know, the stalker hat's a good fit, but I personally feel the estate boss hat looks closer to it. Yeah, the stalker hat's a good one though. Don't get me wrong, like any excuse I had to throw the stalker hat at something, usually I will. But for that very reason is why I'm trying to avoid it, actually. Hence why I just went with the estate boss hat. For coats, I mean, this is all dealer's choice. So by all means, just throw your ideas out there, what you think might be better, because I'm sure we'd all love to hear it, actually. But basically, it's either going to be no coat or the duster coat. Ralph St. Jake didn't really hit me as someone that would dress finely at all. Frankly, I just... I was just assumed he would dress like a killer of the Old West, so basically he wore whatever the hell he wanted. If you have something bad to say, he shoot you. So yeah, if he wants to wear a duster coat in black, by all means, he's going to wear a duster coat in black. For Vess, this is where I kind of wanted to just pin why this man might have gotten the nickname Rattlesnake. I kind of like this Vess thing. I can see him getting into a shootout or a bar fight or something, and someone just catching an eye of the design of the vest and thinking to a rattlesnake and that's how the nickname started and that's how it got around. That and I don't really have a lot of other options that aren't just abusing trapper stuff here and there that eh, might work better, may not. Kind of, yeah. For shirts, I just went with the everyday shirt. I personally went with this kind of darker gray design. Uh, it's almost actually the same one. Actually, I think that is the same one I used for uh, an earlier video. And I mostly chose this because I personally liked it. Like, I wanted something to kind of contrast all the browns and the blacks I had going on, but I didn't want to go with white. Yeah. For pants, I'm not going to lie. I, I really have been wanting to use the saddle jeans for something in this series. And when I saw this actually came into a brown that kind of uniformed the vest a little bit in color, I couldn't help myself. I had to throw those on. Though I wanted something with a different contrast. The lighter ones, I, I just could not. I like the darker ones. Again, all personal preference. Suspenders, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. This is my own personal interpretation, so frankly, if I could, I'd just say screw the suspenders at all. Um, no chaps. For boots, however, I did want to do something with this. The deluxe relentless boots in black, preferably with the steel toes instead of this, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. If that's supposed to be like a dark copper or a bronze I don't know what the heck some of those are supposed to be but no I like this I, I've wanted to do something with this 
ever since I was tripping over when I was doing Revolver Ocelot. Moving on to Spurs. Eh, technically doesn't really need to wear Spurs, but if you're gonna throw Spurs on, I like the Vaqueros. I, I want more excuses to throw the Vaqueros in outfits, I really do. They just, I like them. And really, I don't like anything else, personally. Yeah. Oh, I should probably show off the color for that. Again, it's completely dealer's choice. I went with the darker brown with the actual steel spurs. Though a lot of these look wonderful. Uh, I'm not a fan of the copper slash bronze tinge on that sucker, though. Mostly dealer's choice. <laughs> no masks, no bandanas. For neckwear, I just... The high neckerchief. I like finding excuses to throw this on. E. Of course, you just go with none, but that looks funky to me. I don't like that. No gloves for weapon equipment. I don't do this often. I'm gonna throw one suggestion here, and it kind of goes with the rattlesnake jig kind of feel to it. The Master Hunter belt, which actually looks like it has a rattlesnake pattern on it, which I dig. Though the holsters for it kind of throw me off. I, I'm not a fan of them, so I actually just drew on John's holsters, which. I dig. Like, I have all these. I dig those ones. I dig the sharpshooter. The horseman belt isn't bad. The herbalist belt, meh. Yeah. And of course, we have to have a bandolier. I mean, for God's sakes, he wears what? Like 12? So we have to have at least one, right? I personally vote for the sharpshooter. Mostly because the Master Hunter, I don't like that. Those hooves. Or whatever. What is that? Someone in the comments tell me what those pouches are supposed to be made out of, because that's going to drive me nuts. But no, sharpshooter. I like the sharpshooter. And of course, you can just make all of his weapon equipment sharpshooter, and honestly, I wouldn't bat an eye. In fact, I might just give you a thumbs up and a heart, because I dig it. Talismans. Honestly, completely dealer's choice. You can go with or without. The Bear Claw Talisman isn't bad. The Raven Claw, eh. The Boar Tusk actually kind of works with the outfit, not even going to lie. Bison horn, it's all dealer's choice. Or the alligator tooth if you decide not to go with the jacket. That all said, that's it. This is my interpretation of Rattlesnake Jake. And I already screwed up the collar, which bothers me already. I personally like this. Like, I dig it. This looks like a man who, in the Old West, I would not want pissed off at me at a bar when I feel like there's going to be a fight soon. And that's kind of what Rattlesnake Jake gives off. Just something and someone you don't want to tick off at any point in time. Ugh. That all said, as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, a great way of showing your support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and by all means, share it with your friends. And as an added bonus, checking down the guidelines in the description below and throwing out your own personal requests for Legends of the West. Hopefully we can finally get Jonathan E. Reed on here. I'm not going to lie, I really want to do that one. I might end up doing that just as a personal thing at some point, but I'm not sure when. I'm kind of not having a lot of time to do these anymore, sadly. But once again, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Mm -hmm.